Hello to you all jewelry maker guys. Today we are going to make these very beautiful wire rings that is a combination with wire and yarn. I had read all of your comments thanks to my dear friends Laura, Lesia and Marty. You gave the energy to have this tutorial. So let's go ahead and and see what is the tutorial of these beautiful wire rings. First of all, we need jewelry making yarns that I'm using this type of yarn and you could see the pattern and the size. Uh, you could use any other kinds of yarn that you would like, maybe silk yarn or other types, but I'm using this one and the color is the same as this one and I love this color so I choose this one but as you see you could use any other colors that you desire and also the wires of about one millimeter in diameter and also 0.4 or 0.51 our main tools round nose pliers, chain nose pliers and wire cutter and also a lighter First of all, I need to cut my one millimeter wire and about three times of my finger size. So with the yarn, I wrap it all around the finger that I'm going to make the ring for and I put it on this wire and measure three times of this size. And also a little more to make some joints. Then cut it out. <coughs> Pick up your yarn and somewhere at the middle of this wire, start to make in a knot with the yarn. Just make a U shape just like we did coiling in wire and then make a knot here. And this is the time to fix it with our thinner wire. So pick up your 0.4 or 0.5 wire and make another tie with this thinner wire and use your round nose pliers to fix it more and to wrap it all around these two structures the yarn and the main wire at the end and as usual we close this little loop here and push it with our chain nose pliers to be completely set onto this yarn and again we cut the other side of this wire then wrap this yarn all around the main structure it's just like when we made a wire coil and we had used the thinner wire instead of this yarn, but this time easier and faster. So we continue that till we get the measure that covers all around our finger. After wrapping for about four or five centimeters, this is the time to make another knot here, then cut this yarn. And here again, we are going to make a wire wrap all around both our main wire and also the yarn. Now, I would cut the extra part of the yarn at both sides. 
at the end with a lighter just melt these yarns a little on both sides we'll repeat that and also you should pay attention if you're using this flame you should keep the yarn at the middle of this flame not at the end or the bottom side at the middle is the best place now we are going to wrap this part all around a mandrel or any other cylindrical shapes just like as my nail polish and wrap this structure from the middle of this part all around that cylindrical shape till you get to something like this and continue wrapping the wire and those two tails one from the bottom and one at the top so that we could get a three row shape and this is the overall shape of the ring that we had made but here just a little tips we should make a proper joint here for these three rows. So in the continuous part of the tail that you have here, make a 90 degree bend. And just wrap it all around these three rows. like when you're making a U shape and then closing the wire and wrapping it all around a structure you do the same and then cut it out and do the same at the other part now your beautiful ring is ready and just you could test it out and enjoy that for yourself or for the one that you love or to sell hope you had enjoyed this tutorial and you would make these beautiful rings in any color that you desire you could both make the bangle or a bracelet in same design and form and you could make a set for them and that would be so beautiful and also you could make the earrings or other parts in any shapes and designs if you would like to know more about this technique and more designs please comment it for me and i would be so happy to read your opinions and ideas Thanks for watching. Take care. Love you so much. Bye-bye.